we have to solve this simultaneous equation using the method of substitution. So now, the first equation, which is x plus 4, that is equation 1. And the second equation, 2x minus 5. Sorry, equation 1 is x plus y is equal to 4. And equation 2, 2x minus y is equal to 5. From equation 1, from equation 1, we can simply make x the subject of the formula. So that means x is equal to 4 minus y because when y goes to the right, it becomes negative. So x goes to 4 minus y. So this can be labeled equation 3. This x goes to 4 minus y because we have made x the subject of the formula from equation 1. So this can become equation 3. Then now, we go to equation 2 because we have used equation 1 to make x the subject of the formula. We will now go to equation 2, no longer equation 1. We go to equation 2. Anywhere we see x, we are going to put 4 minus y. So equation 2 is 2x minus y is equal to 5. Now 2x, this 4 minus y is x. See here, x is 4 minus y. So we are substituting 4 minus y for x. So 2x, which is 2, 4 minus y, minus this y that is here is equal to 5. And then we expand the bracket. 2 multiplied by 4 is 8. 2 multiplied by negative y is negative 2y and then minus y is equal to 5, and then we have negative 2y minus y will give us negative 3y, because it's like 1y here. So negative 2y minus 1y will give us negative 3y, and this 5 is already on this side. When this positive 8 goes to the other side, it becomes negative 8. So we now have negative 3y is equal to negative 3, because 5 minus 8 is negative 3. So we have to divide both sides by negative 3 in order to obtain y. So y will be equal to negative 3 divided by the negative 3 on this side. That gives us y is equal to 1. Now we can now go back to equation 3. Don't forget this is the equation 3. So we can now go back to equation 3. Anywhere we see um, x, I'm sorry, anywhere we see uh, y, we are going to substitute 1. Because we already know the value of y. So in the equation 3, x is equal to 4 minus y so now x will be equal to 4 minus 1 y is 1 so x is equal to 3 because 4 minus 1 is 3 so therefore we now have x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 1 as the final answer so please subscribe to this channel where i explain the content of my mathematics textbook from topic to tap topic and from chapter to chapter subscribe so that i can get the full content of this textbook thank you for watching